the bat bike is back and I know what to do this time. The rear wheel needs to slide from side to side which will throw the balance off and allow it to lean into the corners. I'll be able to control this with a level sensor. I'll use a quite powerful 72 volt 3000 watt motor and a rack and pinion setup. It will slide on some chrome bar with some Teflon slider plates. Now to the motor, a 13B rotary. Take off the nut, take off the flywheel, take out the bolts and take off the front plate. There's the rotor, that's the part that does the work. It's got a complicated array of seals so it can spin in the housing and seal everything. There's two spark plugs per housing. Take off the dipstick and the oil filler, take off the intake manifold and you can see some of the throttle body there. Take off the front pulleys and the plate and there's the oil pump which is run by a chain drive. And out comes the other rotor and the eccentric shaft. This, was, this is what transfers the power to the rotary. The other benefit of using a rotary is lightweight and it will actually act like a gyroscope itself and I'm also a big fan of rotaries. I've always wanted one. There will be no gearbox attached to the motor. It will just be an electric motor that will work as a generator which will charge batteries but mostly transfer the power to the rear motor. So the 18650 cell. These things are in everything. Inside your drill battery, inside my electric motorbike that's got 300 of them. 7,000 of them inside a Tesla. These ones here I've got wired in series because I was making a little jump pack. But if you alternate every second one, the volt the voltage doubles. So what I would have is a smallish pack with maybe two to four hundred cells and get really high voltage so I can run a powerful motor. Let's have a look at a Tesla motor. You take off the cap and take off the outer housing there and you can see the motor. I'm not quite sure how it works. A big stack of plates. And it's just a simple gear reduction. And then it has a conventional car style diff. Just the same as any other car. And there looks like the final drive gear and then the axle that goes to the other wheel. But on this side, I thought this was another motor, but it's actually a rectifier. So this converts from DC to AC. It's essentially the speed controller, I think. This is out of scale, but it could fit in the back wheel. I don't know if I can use a Tesla motor, but I need an electric motor so it can slide side to side. So I'll have to find maybe two Stark Varg motors or something. Let's have a look at the shock. So I'll use some good quality shocks if you take off the end clevis there and the spring retainer and the spring. Take out the main seal. And inside the uh, piston is made up of a series of rings with different size holes in them which allows it to pass through the oil. That controls how fast it can move. We take off the adjustment nut there and there's another bush in the top. There's the adjuster valve that lets the oil into this other compartment which will have an oil uh, a rubber bladder inside it it's not drawn in this model but it'll be there what i want to do is have adjustable front suspension and rear suspension i'll use an electric actuator i want a really powerful one so it can move fast so i can change the ride height i haven't drawn the back one yet so it will just raise and lower and hopefully I can do this really quickly. I've already got this type of setup on the front and it works pretty well but being really fast would be cool. 
onto the gyroscope, the magical device that can balance anything. The guys at We Make Machines did a good video of one balancing a push bike. Truth is, these are really hard to get to work. I have had some success with them before. I made one that goes inside the wheel and this worked good and also it's safe. Because if it blows apart or something, it's not going to go through the rim and the tyre to get me. I'd probably spin it at 9000 RPM. With a more powerful brushless motor. What it works well for is if there is an obstacle coming along that hits the rear wheel on the side, it has a massive effect on tipping the bike over, but with a gyroscope and the rear wheel spinning away, it helps the bike stay upright instead of getting thrown by obstacles. On a side hill, I can just simply stretch out the wheel to the side and ride along the side of a hill with no problems, which was a big issue before. And I won't need any retractable wheels for this because it'll have such a big flat spot on the tyre and I can just move the machine to wherever I like. Let's take away the cab and have a look. I haven't modelled the inside yet. But up the top rear I'll have all the cooling for the engine and I'll have all the speed controllers and I'll probably even have an RC controller in here too. Air will feed through the front lovers and also there's a hatch on the top that could feed more air through as well. Hopefully this is enough to keep everything cool. I could also put a fan in there. Uh, the front wheel has center hub steering which I have already made. It actually works pretty well. And I, it's got a lot of adjustment in it too so I can fine tune it to the correct angle and rake. But this will be moved forward, make room for the gas powered motor. Here's a super poor animation. That'll get better guys. Controlling the power from the motor generator is going to be quite tricky to convert to the rear motor so it'll need some sort of specialized ESC controller or VSC. Uh, any advice on that would be appreciated. Obviously this will be quite an expensive build to make. Um, I want to do a good job of it and use all good quality parts. And I'm also injured at the moment, so I'll have to pay someone to help me. So if you feel like donating any money, I've got a PayPal link if you want to see this happen. But if you don't want to donate money, just give the video a like. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing your comments on what you guys think. And whether I should... And let me know if you want me to do some more drawings of this.